Alright folks, welcome back to another episode in the Football Manager Save. Uh, here we go. Today we're going to be taking on Hibernian in the uh, quarterfinal of the uh, in, of the Cup. Uh, last time out you would have seen the game against Rangers, which was a famous one-all draw for us. And then we went uh, away from home with a two-all uh, two draw, unfortunately. Another 90th late-minute equaliser. Obviously happened to us at Aberdeen as well. So, yeah. Still good though from uh, Dixon Peters to get a, a brace. Um, apart from that, nothing else has really happened too much. I did go and get the um, Regen face pack from uh, Zealand. So, and um, some other people that I don't really know who they are. Um, but yeah, as you can see, there's Liam Walsh. He's got a face. He's a real person, but he's not a real person. Fantastic. Right, here we go. Reese Lyon is the only one that's probably not fit. We're going to use these a couple of these. We've gone back to our, our gig and press formation that did so well last season. And uh, yeah, this will be the team that we play. So John and Bowen in midfield. Don't know why I've started in the middle. Um, we'll go back. Coming in goal. Robinson, Astley, Nate, double O. John and Bowen in midfield. Dixon, Peters and Souza on the wings. Up here and Bruno Marks on uh, as the strikers. Um, so not another striker uh, that we, we don't have another striker well, we, we do, we have a couple of other strikers I could use but not going to put one on the bench we will just swap around as Dixon Peters can play there, Arpia can play on the wing we're all sorted probably not familiar with this we haven't played our King and Press since last season we may have played it in pre-season I don't play the pre-season games I assign that to my assistant so I don't actually remember, but here we go. We're kicking things off. Quarterfinal. Can we make it to the semis? 90 minutes, we will find out. Hopefully we can. It would be um, it would be a great achievement for us as a club. Um, League Cup semifinals. League Cup winners, perhaps? No? Maybe. Free kick. Oh, referee has raised his flag. They were offside. They, we've started off not too bad. Bit of position, which we like to see. Two shots, two on target, apparently. He's got another chance now. Sosa whips it into Astley, just taps it in. First goal for Ryan Astley of the season. Third season here now? I have to check that. I believe it probably... I think it is, actually. I think it is his third season. Because he was with us in the championship. He was with us last year. So, yeah. We don't need to see that, like, three times, but... I'm happy with that. Starting off well. Centre back's got a goal. Fantastic. And obviously Hibs are no uh they're not a bad opponent as they're coming close here. Oh, Nisbet almost scores an equalizer. It's not too long after we scored our first, so it's Mizjian. Sticks and Peters heads it for Hurahan, which could be Connor Hurahan. Possibly. Porteous? No. It is the League Cup quarterfinal. 10,000 people have come out to see us. Away from... Well, we're playing in Hibernian, so it's not 10,000 players, people from here come out to see us. I imagine we've probably only got about 1,000. Um, I don't even know how many fans we actually have. Dixon Peters gets the ball back, gives it up to Arpia. Scores. Oh, he can't score. I thought he would have scored that. How's he missed? It's a good save from their keeper, but can't believe he missed that. Robinson now. Corner. Whips one in. Porteous with the header. Dixon Peters on the ball again. And he just runs it out of play. Heavy touch. Not too good. Very interesting game so far. Obviously, uh, only leading by a goal to nil. Um, keep going. I I'll, I I'm happy with everything. So far, so good. We just have to keep it going. Not score, uh, not let them score, I should say, and not let them score on their first chance of the second half. That's piss poor Kevin Nisbet. He scored. I said don't let them score on their first chance of the half, and they have. It was Paul from Double O and Nate. It's a bit of their fault. Double O passes it to Nate. Nate passes it back to Double O. Oh, okay. Double O tried to get it to uh, 
to Bowen. Intercepted. Piss poor from him. Really, really poor. Basic mistake that you've got to look. And granted that has been the only time that they've played or they've, you know, had a chance, but it could give them could give them a bit of a there we go, two nil. Two one, I should say. We're gonna take off uh, Dixon Peters, unfortunately. Uh, Brown is gonna come off. Uh, he's playing pretty Want to take off Dixon Peters? No, I'm going to keep him on. RP is going to come off, even though Dixon Peters is pretty knackered. Um, but we'll swap them. And John's going to come off for Ward. And Double O is going to come off for Walsh. Here we go. Robinson now passes to Astley, the goal scorer. So we've got a bit of... Uh, still got time to get back into this. We could take it to extra time, we could take it to penalties. At least want to put up a good showing. Here we go, Sosa now on the ball, he passes it back through to Bowen. Bowen's going to run out of room, but it's a corner as it hits one of their players. So that is fine for us. We're not going to see the corner, unfortunately. Um, I'm just going to go attacking and encourage. Can we get a last chance? I don't think we will. Oh, I say that. I don't think we will get a last chance, but here we go. Couple of deflected headers, and so is going to whip it in. Dixon Peters, he doesn't even jump. Robinson, though, to Ward. Back to Robinson. Robinson with a shocker. Well, not really a shocker. Like, if it had gone in, it would have just shocked the crowd silent, I think. 93rd minute equaliser. Couldn't have asked for more. A bit disappointing. Um, second half, obviously not good enough. Well off the pace. Particularly, uh, we can owe to uh, double O for the loss. Have a Sosa now. No, Matt Macy's going to get there. Don't even know if it is Matt Macy. But I know Matt Macy is a goalkeeper. And he's got the name Macy, so he's Matt Macy to me. This is a very long uh, fourth, long minute. So um, I've got to throw in, though. Can we get something in the last seconds of the game? That would be insane. Bruno Marquez, invisible. Haven't seen him since I just mentioned him now. And there we go. It's game over. We're knocked out in the quarterfinal. Uh, should be proud, but still disappointing to say the least. Two days off, and then we play at Dundee at home. Here we go. A couple of changes since the uh, last game. Cummings going to be in goal, as per... Uh, back four of Robinson, Astley, they haven't changed. Bates and Walsh come in for Nati and Double O respectively. Carmichael and Finney for John and Bowen. Uh, Brown and Ward for Sosa and Arpia. But um, Dixon Peters is playing in Arpia's spot alongside Bruno Marquez at the top. So he's a little bit, unf uh, you know, he's got a bit of an injury pwn, but we'll see. He is our best striker. We're going to need him in a good Good stead today. Uh, he'll probably play about 45 to 60 minutes, depending on how how he goes. I don't know why it always reverts to the other player's formation. I don't care. I only want to see my own. And here we go. Dundee. We've got a bit of a, a bit of a rivalry, a bit of a bone to pick with them, having won at the Scottish Cup last season, effectively uh, ruining our chances of getting a European chance we finished in the right spot but because it went to the league we missed out on some uh, conference league action and well looking like Dundee are the better side looking like they deserve it more as they have the lead here in the first five minutes don't know where any defenders are Sykes just left unmarked at the edge of the box smashes one and can't really ask for a better goal than that to kick off your game but here we are we're playing at home we've got the home field advantage Bruno Marks invisible the last game hopefully you can show something in this game we do have Carmichael in midfield the youngster that is breaming breaming is that even a word brimming with potential so we may as well use it and have him as a regular player for us hopefully he can do something obviously being so young and you know his stats will not be uh very well suited to this league. He will make mistakes. 
But um, if he can keep doing that, get the assist, my guy, Simon Carmichael. He's had a goal and an assist. It's gone offside. Are you fucking serious? That is so annoying. We played a solid, solid bit of football there. It was great passing. We had a goal, but offside is offside, I guess. Well, hopefully Carmichael can get another assist, or even better yet a goal. As long as he just has a good game, he improves himself as a player and maybe even slots himself in as a, uh, a first-teamer. For 10k, it's a bit of a steal. Anyway, Bates is going to chase down the loose ball, but he's going to give it to Cumming. Back to Bates, who's going to take a wee bit of a run. Back on to Walsh. Double O is uh, not fully fit, so he's taken a bit of a knock. So that's why Walsh is playing. And, oh, bit of a bad tackle from Astley there. And now it's 2-0 as I don't know what Cumming was doing, not even trying to go for the ball, it seems, as I'm actually going to berate the team because 2-0 in eight minutes uh, is unacceptable. Especially when this was a team that we beat... Last season, we do we do have some new players. Yes, we are playing a slightly rotated side. Yes, but no excuses. There we go. Brown gets us one back. Three goals in 12 minutes. The fans will be loving it life today. We're at home. We need to make the home fortress. We don't have too much uh, longer remaining at the stadium. Obviously, the, the uh, board are building us a new one. We do have a lot of debt paying that off, so I wouldn't expect any massive signings in the next few years unless we win the Champions League or something. And if we win that, they might have to uh, not get, uh, they might have to cancel the stadium and uh, build us in a, a proper one with more than 8,000 capacity. Because that's going to need extending very soon if we're to get into Europe. So as soon as it gets in, you know, well, as soon as it's built, and around the same time, we probably, I would be aiming on a personal level, to be a, a solid European, you know, reaching qualification. It doesn't mean we have to be solid in Europe, but I want, would want to be getting European football every year. Okay, it is only on key highlights, but... Yeah, we're going to need a bit more than 8,000 seater stadium, regardless of how new and uh, modern it is. Here we go, Curtis on again. Look at the defending. Piss. Poor. It's so easy for them. What in our tactics is made? Don't be higher up, you munters. Stay lower for a start. Distribute to the centre backs. Slightly more direct. Don't play as high. Work. Don't be more expressive. I'm I'm sick of seeing us on the defence. We need to be on the attack. Why would you just fling the ball over like that? When I say be more expressive, make sure that it's actually like. You can, you can play how you want, but like at least make it look like there's a bloody fucking, you know, there's a person there. Make it obvious. Not too obvious that the op opposition know it. But don't take stupid chances when there's no one around. Don't just hoof the ball forward. Make sure there's actually someone there that could possibly get on the end of it. Not that they're a mile away. They're actually close. There's an actual decent chance that they could make the ball. That's what I want to see. Walsh now. Finney. Up to Grant Ward. Piss poor effort once again. Bates now running back to the loose ball. Who's he going to do? Give it. He's going to take it out. He's going to hoof it upfield. No one there. There we go. It's two on one. It's almost 4-1. 23 minutes in. Piss poor. Get on the attack, you useless fucks. So I'm getting a bit, I'm getting a bit heated here. Ooh, right, what can we do? Number 20, standing over the ball. Who is that? Uh, Finney. How did I not know that? Walsh. Back to Robinson. Robinson now to Brown. Brown over the top. Could could have had a better chance, Dixon Peters. It's been our better player so far. Walsh, again, no. Poor pass. What is with these poor passing today? Just pass to a player. It's not that hard. Simon Carmichael. Fantastic little ball. Dixon Peters on the loose. Oh, how has he missed that? Are you serious, Gain? Oh, it's going to be one of those. I am fuming. It's going to be one of those games, isn't it? 
Oh my god. Urgh. It's one of those fucking games. These nothing's going right for us. There we go. Carmichael on the attack. What? Carmichael is having a better game than Finney. Carmichael's about 15 years old, mate. He's been one of the better players on the pitch, apart from Dixon Peters. Oh, and it's a penalty. Great. So it's going to be 4-1. Fucking pathetic. Pathetic. We're at home. How is Dundee just all of a sudden good? They're not. They're still useless. They still finished in the relegation spots. The relegation half of the league. Whatever. I'm just pissed. They've got a free kick five minutes after the, the half has resumed. He's probably scored. He's, he's scored it. It's five. It's an utter embarrassment. What an absolute shit show. I'm half tempted to haul coming off. for Just being a useless goalkeeper. Now that McAdams is gone, he thinks he can get away with it. He can't. He'll be getting a fine after this game. Watch. Bates now to Bowen. I've taken two players off. RP has come on. He's done nothing. Bowen's also come on in midfield. Carmichael, 15, 16 year old. One of the better players on the pitch. Maybe I'll just play the team that's... I'll just play youngsters. Walsh has been pathetic. Carmichael now. Finds Brat Bowen. What a strike from Sam Bowen for his second goal. Simon Carmichael gets the assist. Best player on the pitch. He's a kid and he's the best player on the pitch. The team should actually be ashamed of themselves. Quite honestly, when this guy costs 10k, he's on $500, not even $500 a week probably. He's probably on fuck all. Let's have a look, shall we? He's on $275 a week and he's 16. And he's outperforming the rest of you. Up here, you got bought for like 16 mil. And like, nah, you're useless. You can't, you're not even a first team player for us. Right, we need another substitution. Nate is going to come in. I was more, as du a double O is coming in actually. Liam Walsh can get the f fuck off my pitch. Yeah, okay, cancel this, yes. Here we go. I mean, we're on the defence, but can we make anything happen from this attack? 3-5 would look better than 2-5. Double O, get on, save us on that right, because we are being uh, exposed. 70 minutes in. Let's, let's just have a look at these stats. Uh... 89% pass completed, 51% possession, 11 shots, 5 on target. They've had 15 with 9 on target. We've had more fouls. I don't know why we're committing so many fouls when we shouldn't be. There's no get stuck in on. There's not even go to ground. Carmichael to Bowen. Got a nice little partnership happening between those two. Walsh, before he comes off, can he do anything to redeem himself? He's had an absolute shocker. He's offside. No. Get off my pitch. You pathetic excuse for a football. Walsh is supposed to be one of our better ones as well, potential-wise. He ain't showing any of that. If he wants to be playing regular football, which unfortunately he's getting anyway because he's our backup right back, uh, he's going to need to show me something that is better than that abysmal dross. Are you joking, Coming? Is this defence joking? This is literally mo most of the team that we played last season, apart from the midfielders and, and a striker. Most of this team was with us last season. Disgrace. What an utter, utter, utter disgrace. I'd expect this from Rangers. There we go. Arvin Arpia scores his first goal for us, finally. 3-5. It's, it's, it's looking better. 
But still, piss poor once again. And it's not going to be enough to help us out. So we drop to eighth, seven games in, nine points. Hmm, not as strong as we were last season, quite clearly. I'm not happy. As you can tell, I've told everyone, I'm not happy. And, righto. I don't care about these. He's actually a very good player. I might scout him. Right, squad. Jamie coming. Discuss. Oh, I can't... I can't find him, but... Um, sorry. Warn, criticised last game. Your goalkeeping in the last game was not good enough. You underperformed and you must improve if you want to say in. I agree. I'm disappointed with my performance. You are doing my best to improve. Thank you. Where's Liam Welsh? Warn player, criticised last game. You're not good enough defensively. I know that performance wasn't well expected and I'll do everything. Good. See, this will help them. Anyway, after two embarrassing defeats, uh, well, one embarrassing defeat, one a bit unlucky, uh, I'm going to wait. We're going to take the month of October. We're going to come back for November, where we only have two games for some reason. We're going to play Aberdeen and Patrick Thistle. So, yes, look forward to that. Catch you guys in the next one. Thanks a ton for watching. Apologize for the meltdown. And, uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one very, very soon. Bye-bye.